Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to draw an internal tangent between two unequal or uneven circles. We have our two circles here highlighted. Their centers are A and B and we connected the centers with line AB. Now the first thing we want to do is bisect line AB. So we're going to do that using some arcs and the radius for all of our arcs will be 250 millimeters and the steps for bisecting the line is the same as always. All right, so we have our arcs. Let me just neaten this up a bit. And now we're going to draw our bisecting line where the arcs intersect. So that's this right here. Uh, it's extremely short, so you're just going to extend it a bit so that it's easier to see. So this is our bisecting line, right? So we have found the center of line AB. Now this being AutoCAD, I could have easily found the center, but I wanted to go through the proper steps to show how you find the center of a line. So now we're going to draw our arc, and the radius of the arc is... The center for line, let's call it O and B, right? So it's OB. What we're going to do now is very interesting. We're going to add or tally the radii of our two circles and we're going to use A as the center for this new circle. So here you can see that the radius of the bigger, larger circle is 200 millimeters and the radius of the smaller circle is 150. So 200 and 150 equals 350. So we'll use A as the center and draw a circle with radius 350 to cut the semicircle that we just drew. Now this is very, very important. So we have our new circle here and you can see that where we cut the semicircle off camera, I labeled it as C, so that point is C. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw a line from A to C. We're going to draw a line from A to C. Good. Now the next thing we're going to do is we need a line that is parallel to AC. We need a line parallel to AC that runs from B. Now, however you are drawing it, however you decide to get this parallel line, it is up to you. Um, in this instance, I will simply copy line AC, right, and place the end at B, following which I will trim off the excess. So here we have this line, this new line, which is parallel to AC. So we have AC and this new line, BD. Is parallel to AC All right so these lines are parallel now we are almost finished where these parallel lines cut the circumferences of our two original circles those are our points of tangency those are our points of tangency so now I'm just gonna draw a line from where AC cut our original circle right there And I will draw it to where BD, line BD, cut our second circle. So here you see we have our line of tangency. And I'm just going to extend it a bit. So that it's easier to see. And this is it. This is our line of tangency. This is how you construct or draw a tangential line an internal tangential line to two circles that are unequal in size. All right, at this point, I'm just going to change the layer on our circles and the line of tangency so that they are easier to see. So there you have it. And I will... 
I will take off the layer, the construction line layer, so that you can see what it looks like without all the construction lines. So this is what it looks like, I would say naked. <laughs> all right, this is what it looks like naked without the construction lines. And now I will turn them back on and there you have it and that's it. It's pretty simple pretty straightforward I trust that you would have learned something if you did please leave a like and if you haven't already please subscribe and even hit the notification bell. Thank you very much